Holland Township man is being charged with carrying a loaded AR-15 in downtown Holland. This happened in early May during the popular Tulip Time Festival. 13 on your side's Carla Byron's in the newsroom. And Carla, you learned some new details from court documents today. Do you know why the man was carrying this rifle in the first place? Juliet, short answer, no. The judge commented he didn't know 57-year-old Stephen Brusso's intentions and was concerned because there was a high amount of people in downtown Holland at the time. A transcript of Stephen Brusso's arraignment states the 57-year-old Holland Township man is accused of carrying a loaded AR-15 in downtown Holland. This happened during tulip time, where there were a higher than usual amount of people. The judge is on record saying, quote, I can't imagine any legitimate or innocent purpose in doing that. And I can't imagine a scenario where there's greater risk to public safety than that posed by the actions of Mr. Brusso. Michigan's open carry law allows people to carry a firearm in most places, but you're not allowed to brandish a firearm. And brandishing a firearm basically means having the gun in your possession and using it in a manner that's threatening to someone else. So you're pointing it at someone, you're waving it around, or you're, you're using it really in any manner, displaying it in a manner that, that people would find threatening. Police say the initial investigation indicated Brusso did not threaten anyone, nor were any shots fired, though he's charged with one misdemeanor count of brandishing a firearm in public. We also learned the judge was concerned about 70 weapons in Brusso's home, multiple being unaccounted for. Hence why he set Brusso's bond at $250,000. Brusso was also charged with misdemeanor trespassing into Itty Bitty Bar on Ottawa Beach Road. Police allege there he produced or brandished a firearm inside a crowded bar room. Brusso signed a voluntary order which requires hospitalization and treatment. He can't possess or own any firearms. He pled not guilty to both misdemeanor charges. Reporting in the newsroom, Carla Byron, 13 on your side. Amanda